Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Quiet. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 1539, kth missing positive number. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So here I have taken the first example from the lead code website. So we are given a sorted array and we need to find the kth missing value. So for example, so in this input array, the missing values are 1. So we don't have 1 here. We have 2, 3, 4 and 5 we don't have. Then 6 is missing. Then we have 7 here but 8 is missing, 9 is missing and 10 is missing right so in this list we need to find the kth value right so this is the first second third fourth and this is the fifth right so we need to return 9 here we need to return the answer as 9 right so we are going to solve this problem using binary search right now let's see how we are going to do this so initially I will be having the left and right pointers. Then I'm going to find the middle value by adding the left and right pointer in X. That is zero here and four. Then I'm going to divide that by two. I'm going to get the middle value. So I'm going to get two. So my middle value will be index two, right? Then I'm going to find the number of missing values till my mid index. So till my mid index, I'm going to find the number of missing values in this left part of my input array. To find that, I will take the mid value that is 4 and its corresponding index that is 2 I will subtract that with the mid value and I will subtract with 1 so I'm going to get 1 here so which is nothing but there is one number is missing in the left part of my input array otherwise we can say like there is one number is missing till the mid index right so we found that the number of missing values till my mid index is 1 right from my left to pointer to my mid index middle value that is one element is missing so using this value I'm going to decide whether I need to ch check my kth missing value in the left part of my input array or in the right part of my input array right I'm going to decide whether I need to search in the left part of my input array or in the right part of my input array using this particular missing value so to decide that I will write a condition where if my k is greater than the missing value I'm going to move my left pointer right I'm going to move my left to pointer which is nothing but I'm going to start searching the right part of my input array else I will search in the left part of my input array right so in this case k is 5 the missing value we found in the left part is 1 so we need to move my left pointer so I will move my left pointer to the index 3 right by adding 1 to my middle index value so now again we need to find the middle value so if I calculate that my middle value will be index 3 so to find the number of missing values we are going to take the middle index value that is 7 I'm going to subtract with the corresponding index 3 this is the middle index then I will subtract with 1 all right I'm going to get 3 in this case so this missing value is nothing but 
that is 3 we have right which is nothing but from the 0th index till the middle value middle index the number of missing values in this case is 3 so basically if we count we have a value 1 that is missing and there is 5 is missing then 6 is missing till my middle index right that is what this 3 denotes now I will decide whether I need to search in the left part or right part of my subarray. So here we have 5 as k and 5 is greater than my number of missing values that is 3. So I will move my left pointer again. So this will be my left pointer and my right pointer. So we have left and right pointer pointing to the same value. Now I need to find the middle index so i'm going to get middle index also pointing to the same as my left and right pointers so now i need to take the middle value that is 11 and its corresponding index that is 4 i will subtract that i'm going to get 7 here then i will subtract with 1 so i'm going to get 6 so there are 6 values missing from 0 to middle index right that's what we are calculating right now again i need to check whether i need to search in the left part of my subarray or in the right part of my subarray so here we have five and the missing value the number of missing values till my middle index is six so this condition fails so i will move my right pointer now my right pointer will be Three in this case now I will come out of the loop so we know our right pointer is pointing to the index 3 I will take that index right that is 3 I will add k that is 5 and I will add 1 to it I will get 9 so 9 is the fifth missing positive number so this 3 is nothing but the right pointer right right pointer is the value 3 basically left and right pointers are the indices of my input array right this 5 is nothing but the kth value we are provided right then i am adding 1 to it i will be getting the kth positive missing number right now let's see the code. So before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially I'm going to have the left and right pointer. So left will be pointing to the zeroth index and right will be pointing to the last index in my array. Right? Then I'm going to write the while loop. I'm going to check till my left is less than equal to my right pointer i'm going to find the middle value by adding the left and right pointers i will be dividing that by two i will be getting my middle value then i'm going to find the missing value by taking the current middle value subtracting with the middle index itself then with one Right. Now, using this missing value, I will decide whether I need to move to the left part of my input array or in the right part of my input array. So, if my missing value is less than my k, then I will move my left pointer, else I will move my right pointer. Right. Then finally, I will add my right pointer and the value k and plus 1. If I do that, I will get the kth positive missing positive number. Right? I think it's fine. Let's run the code. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. So the time complexity is a log of n and space is constant space since we are not using any extra space. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe and keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.